This video is brought to you by thepuzzler.com. In this video, we learn about the greatest common factor, also known as the GCF. What is a factor? For this video, you need to know what a factor is. If you don't know what factors are, you can just watch our video on them. You'll find a link to the video in the description below. We know what a factor is now, but what is a common factor? The common factor or factors of two numbers are just the factors that both numbers have. Numbers may have a lot of positive common factors or as little as one positive factor in common. Try finding the common factors of 16 and 12. Pause the video if you want more time on this question. Factors of 16 are 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. And the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. So the common factors for the factors that are in both of these lists are 1, 2, and 4. Let's now try this problem. Find the only positive factor that is common to all numbers. Pause the video if you want more time on this question. One is a factor of all numbers, and thus one is a common factor of all natural numbers. Finally, what is the greatest common factor? The greatest common factor of two or more numbers is just their largest common factor. Why is the greatest common factor useful? Well, one reason is that it helps us simplify fractions. For example, the GCF of 6 and 18 is equal to 6. Now, if we have the fraction 6 over 18, we can divide both the numerator and the denominator by 6, since that's their GCF, to get an equivalent fraction, 1 third. There are two ways to find the greatest common factor. The first way is to list out the factors and the second way is prime factorization. The first way is listing out the factors. To do this method, we first list out the factors of the first number, then we list out the factors of the second number, and our GCF, or the greatest common factor, is the biggest number that appears in both of our lists. Find the greatest common factor of 12 and 18. Pause the video if you want more time on this question. Try solving this problem using the method that we just learned. The factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. And the factors of 18 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. So the common factors, or the numbers that are in both lists, are the 1, 2, 3, and 6. And the largest number here is 6. So the greatest common factor of 12 and 18 is equal to 6. This method can get tedious very quickly. Think about doing this with very large numbers like 1024 and 3584. It will just take us too long. That is why we have another method that utilizes prime factorization. If you don't know what prime factorization is, just watch our comprehensive video on it. You'll find a link to that video in the description below. The prime factorization method. First, we list the prime factors of each number, or more specifically, the prime factorization. Second, we multiply the common factors in the prime factorization of both the numbers to get the greatest common factor, or the GCF. Let's look at an example. Find the greatest common factor 
of 20 and 60. Pause the video for more time on this question. The prime factorization of 20 is 2 times 2 times 5. The prime factorization of 60 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Now notice that both of these numbers have two factors of 2 in common and a factor of 5 in common. Thus, to find their GCF, we just multiply these common factors. So the GCF of 20 and 60 is 2 times 2 times 5, which gives us 20. Here are some other words that are sometimes used to refer to the greatest common factor. The greatest common divisor, or the GCD. The highest common factor, or the HCF. The greatest common factor and the least common multiple are closely related. If you don't know what the least common multiple is, just watch our video on it. The greatest common factor of two numbers A and B multiplied by the least common multiples of the same two numbers A and B is equal to their product. Find the greatest common factor of 72 and 252. Pause the video for more time on this question. Try using prime factorization to solve this problem. Seventy-two is equal to two times two times two times three times three. Two hundred and fifty-two is equal to two times two times three times three times seven. Now both of these prime factorizations have two twos in common and two threes in common. So the greatest common factor of seventy-two and two hundred and fifty-two is equal to two times two times three times three, or thirty-six. Here are some problems for you to try on your own. Don't forget to write your answers in the comments below to check if you are correct. Number 1. Calculate the greatest common factor of 13 and 16. Number 2. What is the greatest common factor of two numbers if their product is 48 and their least common multiple is 2? Number 3. Calculate the greatest common factor of 180, 225, and 270. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked this video or learned anything from it, let me know by subscribing or commenting below. For more awesome content, check out thepuzzler.com. You'll find amazing articles and free courses there. Thank you.